Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. We've got a great ball review for you today. One of the most anticipated releases of 2023. A ball that kind of came out of nowhere, but we all kind of knew was coming uh, with the PBA rule change, the new blue hammer. This ball being advertised by a hammer as not urethane, it actually says it right on the ball, not urethane. So we're gonna compare it to urethane. We're gonna compare it to the purple hammer. Uh, we've got three purple hammers with some different layouts and different surfaces. Um, I've got a pink urethane uh, widow, uh, the black widow urethane, and I've also got a reactive ball. It's a track sensor, which is kind of a benchmark ball. So we're gonna take these new blue hammers out. We've got two different layouts here. We're gonna take these out on the lanes and see what we do. We've got a house shot on one lane and we've got a short sport pattern on the other lane. I believe it's the 36 foot WTBA Los Angeles pattern. And as a spoiler, that lane hooked a ton. So we're gonna see what these two new blue hammers do compared to uh, purple hammers, which is probably what people would wanna use on that condition. So we'll take it out. Uh, let's talk about the numbers of these new blue hammers. Uh, we've got the RG is 2.586 and a differential 0.027. Uh, that's the same core that's in the purple reactive hammer. Uh, so uh, if you had one of those, you know it was kind of a, a low to medium type ball, uh, was good for dryer lanes, uh, maybe sport patterns, things like that. This has the same core as that, so it's not going to flare a ton, uh, but you're still gonna get some dynamics out of this ball. It's gonna flare a bit, uh, which is also going to help uh, the ball not carry oil down as much because it's flaring. Uh, when the ball doesn't flare, it just rolls over the same part of the ball over and over and over, and you get that one uh, track uh, line on the ball, and that's what helps push the oil down and carry the oil down the lane. Um, but when a ball flares, it tracks off of that part, and not as much oil is going to be deposited on the back of the lane from the front of the lane. So uh, the new blue hammer comes out of the box at 500, then 1000 sea air. Uh, so it's a pretty uh, hefty surface on the ball, but as you can see, they're not really super dull either. So there's a little bit of sheen to the surface. Now, granted, I've thrown these a bit, but I've cleaned them off. Um, this, to my eye, looks pretty much the same as what they looked like out of the box. Um, obviously a little duller, there's a little bit of lane shine on here, but as you'll see when I throw the ball um, on these videos, uh, the, uh, uh, the surface on the ball is actually pretty close to what it looks like here. And just so you know, these release on November 16th. So we're gonna head out to the lanes, we're gonna take a look, I'm gonna put some pictures up of the layouts of these two balls. Also, if you like this channel and you like the review, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel and like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. So let's take these out to the lanes and see what they do. Okay, so we're here at Strikers Lanes down in Sunrise, Florida, and I've got as I said, two of these new blue hammers to throw. And I'm gonna throw the first couple of shots right up the track uh, just to see what the ball will do kind of on a normal league shot. This ball is laid out 35 by four and a half by 10. The pin is way up in Narnia. Uh, why did I do that? I don't know, why not? No particular reason, I just wanted to see what a, a stronger layout would do. And as you can see, when we keep this ball in the oil, it does hydroplane a bit. This is not a ball that's meant to be only in oil. So if it's a heavy oil condition, it's probably not gonna do a whole lot, especially if you throw the ball hard like I do. Um, if you're a slower player, it might work a little better. Now I'm gonna throw this sensor solid from track. It's a benchmark type of solid ball and you can see what it does when I throw it in kind of the same place, it hooks. So it's not like there's a ton of oil because the sensor is kind of a middle of the line ball. So you can kind of see that comparison there. And I'll, I'll do these comparisons back and forth uh, as we go through this video instead of saving them all for one shot uh, for one time. So now I move right with the same uh, hammer and it, it's in the dry and now it hooks. So you can see this ball does like dry and it, it's kind of a, a loopy left to right kind of ball. You can see now I'm in the, the track again, but I get it out a bit to the right and it wants to hook. So now let's throw a purple hammer in the same place. And I think this one is a, a 500 grit pin uh, up uh, purple hammer. Uh, this is actually an old Kentucky purple hammer. And you can see it's pretty straight, pretty early. This is a 360 grit uh, pin under the ring finger purple hammer. And that thing just hooks a ton. So um, it reads really early. Now back to the, the blue and you can see 
it does go a bit longer than the purples with the surface do. And I put those surfaces on the purple hammers because that's what most people throw purple hammers at. 500, if you throw it hard like me, 360. Um, I don't know what pin reaction that was. That was pretty cool, actually. Um, but so you see, the ball wants to uh, roll better and react better when you go kind of left to right with it, but not covering a whole lot of boards. Now, I, I will move in a bit later. Now, uh, I think I mentioned I've got two different patterns put out. Now, here's the second blue hammer, 55 by 5 by 30. This is a more standard uh, layout that most people will use on their equipment. Just pin above the bridge. And now this ball likes to react a little more. I thought this would be the weaker of the two. It actually turned out to be the stronger of the two. I'm not sure why. Maybe it has to do with the stronger pin up. Just makes it want to flare a little more so it kind of spins more and doesn't pick up as much. Um, this is actually the one that I thought would be weaker. It ended up being a bit stronger on the back. So this is the one that I now uh, go to as the first one that I try. Now, I kept it in the oil. You can see it still doesn't hook. Now, here's what a widow does. This is the pink urethane widow. That thing just hooked early also. So you can see both of the true urethane balls, the purple hammers and the pink widows, they just want to hook as soon as they hit the lane. Like the 20 feet down the lane, they're already changing direction. So we go back to the blues and uh, now I'm moving in a ton in the oil where I, I really shouldn't be. And you can see this is not, like I said, a ball that wants to work when you just keep it in the oil a whole way down the lane. But now I throw this same ball left to right and I, I was pretty much my release point in the same place. I projected it right. Now the ball looks like it really wants to cover boards. So this is really an interesting piece. Like it's not strong, it's not weak, it doesn't react a ton in the oil, but that wet dry, it really smooths it out really well. Like I'm not the best bowler left to right. When I get it in the oil early, it just wants to hook early on me, most bowling balls. So now we'll try it with uh, the pin up one. And this one actually reacted even better than the other one. Uh, just drive through the rack, it ran over the eight pin, almost left a nine pin. So interesting, interesting bowling balls we have here uh, from Hammer. Um, they look like anything lower than heavy oil, they look really versatile. Um, I think anything medium oil, um, even if it's a house shot, if it's like a, if you bowl in maybe a wood house or just a drier house uh, shot kind of situation, um, the ball seems like it can be work really well for a lot of different places on the lane, as long as you give the ball a chance to hook. Now, here's the sensor again, and you can see a lot longer uh, when you when it's in the oil, it doesn't want to pick up as soon, but the back end more violent. And again, the sensor solid is not a big hooking ball. Now, here's a purple hammer, and it just goes straight. Like it, there's there is no amount of surface I could have put on that ball that probably would have gotten it to hook. Um, so let's try getting it out to the right. Picks up really early, but really smooth back in. So you can kind of see the different shapes between the two. Anybody who's telling you that they're kind of the same exact reaction? I don't know. Now, this purple hammer, that's a, a one of the new purple pin purple hammers uh, that was made uh, in the last, uh, since, uh, was it, August 2022 when they started doing that? Um, so you can see definitely much earlier hook. The blue hammers want to go longer and they want to come off the dry harder. So if I had to kind of do a, a comparison, I would say the... The, these new blue hammers go longer than purple hammers and have more shape in the back end than purple hammers, but they hook earlier than reactive balls, uh, you know, traditional reactive, you know, like a sensor solid or whatever, you know, your favorite reactive ball is. They, it hooks still earlier than that and a little less shape than that. So it kind of fits right in between the two. Um, so whatever you need the ball to do, I think you can kind of tailor it to do it. Now these balls, these new blue hammers come 1,000 out of the box, I believe. Um, you could probably take it down to 500 or something and get it to hook earlier. Um, in the end of the video, I, I did that uh, with a couple of shots. Now here's the purple, just kind of trying to wheel the lane and you can see earlier hook, a little less shape, gets to the same place in the pins. So now we're moving to the left lane. Now the left lane, um, yeah, this lane has a short pattern on it. This is uh, the WTBA Los Angeles pattern, 36 feet. And in this bowling center, which is very high friction, everything plays about two to three feet shorter than that. So imagine this was a 33 foot pattern, uh, which is even shorter than like Cheetah. So I'm just rocketing the ball down the lane 
just maybe hoping to carry some of the oil down. But uh, you can see kind of what the ball wants to do. It does have a decent amount of length. And now as I'm pushing some of the oil down, I get a really good reaction on this really short pattern. So, I mean, you know, purple hammers are known for what they do on short patterns and sport patterns. Now I've got a ball that kind of does around the same thing, a little longer, a little more shape, but not as much as a, a reactive resin ball would do. So here's the pin up uh, blue hammer. And it's a really good shape out of that. Like, that's really cool. It's something that you can't really do uh, with urethane a lot of the time or with a reactive ball a lot of the time. So it's giving you a look that you might not have. So now here's the sensor again, true reactive ball. And what's this going to do? Just as soon as it hits the dry left turn, like the no chance. So you can still see this isn't going to give you the same reaction that a reactive ball would do. So what's a purple hammer going to do? early smooth you can really see the difference between the shapes these three bowling balls make blue hammers medium length medium shape on the back purple hammers early length a lot less shape on the back reactive balls more length and more shape on the back so whatever you really need for the conditions you have now you've got an alternative and if you're a bowler like me who just hates urethane, I can't throw urethane. I'm bad at it. I, I've tried a ton of different things. I'm not good at throwing urethane. But I need that urethane reaction because I bowl a lot of tournaments and I bowl on short patterns. And it's never really been something I've been particularly good at because I'm not that great with urethane. With For me, urethane always, um, with my speed, sometimes it just misses the hook point and just goes straight. But then I slow down the speed and then my rev rate takes over and uh, the ball wants to hook early. Now, the, those last two shots, actually, if you want to rewind it, sorry, I, I started blabbering. Those last two shots were actually, I took the ball down to 500. So if you want to rewind it back and look at those last couple, uh, go ahead. Sorry for that. I, I talk too much. But um, Blue Hammers uh, released November 16th. Head out to your local pro shop. You're probably going to be seeing a bunch of these pop up uh, a lot on a lot of different patterns. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. I'm happy to answer them uh, for you. If you want to know uh, any comparisons or whatnot, uh, hit me up. I will answer whatever questions you got. So until next time, uh, catch you later.